welcome to Down the Vent. My name's Joe. My name's Jonah. And today we're going to be taking a look at a little card game called Doom Leans, a delightful card game for the end of the world. So in this game, you're trying to have the most points in your, your trait pile um, by the end of the game. So to set up the game, you're going to take these uh, age cards, and there's a bunch of them in there, but you're going to set up three separate piles with three age cards each. Then you're going to take um, catastrophes, which look like this, and you're going to randomly shuffle up all the catastrophes and put one in each of those piles. So you have three piles of four cards. Then you're going to shuffle the four cards, put them down, shuffle the next set of four cards, put those on top of that, shuffle the last set of four cards, put those on top, and then the birth of life goes on top of all those. So that's how you make up your age deck, and this is kind of like the round tracker for the game. There's, once the third catastrophe is pulled from the deck, the game will end. Um, so your goal is to get as many points into your trait pool the, and until until the, the third catastrophe, or before the third catastrophe so comes up. So this seems a pretty easy game, and it's not going to take long, because yep. each catastrophe... Well, you don't shuffle the catastrophes again. Nope, you don't. You're right. So at most, um, you're going to have about... 13 rounds at the most if the last catastrophe is all the way on the bottom so pretty short game um we're playing it with two players it looks like it goes up to six players now and again this is a prototype version of the game so some of the art or something anything could change with it um once it comes out to retail but um i think this is pretty close because the art on this is great so we're just like we're like playing these little circular blob guys and we're trying to um get points by playing different cards to our piles into our trait piles, and then, as I said, whoever has the most points at the end of the game will win. We also have what's called our gene pool here in front of us, so that starts at five at the beginning of the game, what? but you can play cards, like this one here, to increase your gene pool. So if I played that into my trait pile, I would get to raise my gene pool up to seven. And what that um, denotes is how many cards you get to draw or have in your hand when you stabilize at the end of your turn. So on your turn, you're going to play one card to your trait pile, and then if it has an effect, you do that effect, and then you're going to stabilize by making sure that your the amount of cards in your hand are equal to your gene pool size. So if your gene pool size is five, you have to make sure you have five cards in your hand, whether it's drawing or discarding. And that's essentially the game, pretty simple. You can affect some other people by playing cards on them and stuff like that, possibly. Every card is different. Um, well, almost every card is different. And they have point values and the little effects at the bottom. So um, I guess you want me to go first so you can see how we do it? Yep. All right. So we're going to flip over the first age card. The first age card, like I said earlier, is always the birth of life. And it says the birth of life, de uh, doomlings, plus five gene pool. Until world's end, play one tray each turn, stabilize at the end of your turn. So that's like the rule that we're going to have to follow. So until the world ends, which is when the third catastrophe comes out, uh, we'll be playing one trait card each turn and then stabilizing at the end of the turn and that stabilizing means that you get back to the same amount of cards as your gene pool uh, offers. So I'm going to go ahead and go first. I'm going to go ahead and play Warm Blood. Um, and Warm Blood looks like this here. Uh, and they all have like cute little quotes on them too and a little picture of your Doomling. And then here's the effect right there. It says plus two to my gene pool. So my gene pool is going to go up to seven. So that means I'm going to have seven cards when I stabilize. But it's negative one point, so I'm starting off in the negative. So Jonah's already winning. <laughs> but then so, that's so you want to be lower. No, you want to have the most points possible. Well, no, you want to be lower on this. Like you want to be by well, one. The lower that is, the less cards you have. Um, I'm just this. What this does is it, it gives me a benefit of letting me have more cards, but it's worth negative points. So I'll get to have more cards the rest of the game, but I start off with negative points. So it's kind of a give and take. So. I'm going to go ahead and stabilize now. I can have seven cards, so I get to draw three here and see what I get. All right, Jonah, it's your turn to play a trait. I am going to... I am going to use this. I get one plus for my gene pool. Wow, that is awesome. So Jonah played just. It's worth two points, and it gives him plus one to his gene pool. So there's four different colors in your, our decks. So um, there are red cards, um, purple, green. I'm trying to think what else here. Now can I get my two cards? Yep, yeah, yep. So you go ahead and stabilize. So you, nope, not from there. That's the age deck. So t draw from the traits. Yep. Um. <laughs> and uh, I forgot, but gray is considered colorless. It's Whoa. not any of the colors. So. Whoa. 
Um, the only other thing, only other uh, rule you kind of know is that there's call, cards called dominant traits, and you can only ever have two of those in play. There's one exception to that in the rule book, but um, it's very that? rare to happen. See, it says dominant at the top. And these are like really good traits that can't be stolen from you or they can't be discarded by people's other traits. So they're really good to have because they're, they're stuck there the rest Wait, of the Wait, you have one? I do have one. I got lucky and drew one. Okay, so that's the end of the round. So I'm going to reveal the next age card and then we'll see what happens. So it says catastrophe. <laughs> we already got a catastrophe. Oh my gosh. The ice age. Minus one to our gene pool. So everyone loses one from their gene pool. Uh, discard one card from your hand for every red trait in your trait pile. Oh, man. I've got zero red traits. Wait, yes. I, I went, whoa, 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 whoa. No, not, uh, in your trait pool, so you don't have to discard any. I have a red card in my trait pool, so I have to discard one. Oh, I, I don't have this. Right, it's not out, so you're okay. And at the world's end, minus one point for every red trait in your trait pile. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if that, I don't know if that comes to effect unless it's the last card played here. I'll have to double check that. Wait, I have to discard a card, Dad, because I'm only supposed to have five. And I have six. Okay. Dad, I have to get rid of okay, a card. So, ev I'm so even even though, no, you, oh, hold on. So even though this um, Ice Age card, ha so this is the name of the card. You do this first, it affects the gene pool. Then this is the action that takes effect right now. Everyone has to discard one card for every red card in their gene pool, which I only have one, so I have to discard one. Jonah has zero, so he has to discard zero. This last part here in yellow does not take effect unless it is the last catastrophe card to come out. So that'll go there, but it doesn't affect us unless it's the last one. So I gotta randomly discard a card for my hand here. So <laughs> I'll take that one, get rid of it. No, my dominant one. <laughs> I lost it already. Um, and Jonah brought up a good point here. He said, oh, do I need to discard down to five cards now because my gene pool changed? You do not. You don't have to stabilize until the end of your turn. So I'll go ahead and uh, play my turn here now. Why is that rainbow? Pretty cool. What's what? Oh, mm -hmm. the rainbow ones are multiple colors. Yep. Um... All right, I want to play Photosynthesis, and this has an action on it, so that means you get to do something when you play it. So it's got the little A next to the text. It says, draw two cards. If either are green, play one immediately. So I got a blue card and a purple card. So I don't get to play one immediately, but I do get whoa, to keep whoa, those in whoa. my hand. Your, your gene didn't go up, so you have to get rid of one because right. of the end and of your turn. now I need to stabilize. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, so I need to discard one to get stabilize here. Wow. What? I'm going to discard sticky sticky secretions. Plus, it says it's minus two points, but then it's plus one for each purple trait in your trait pile. But I don't have a lot of purple traits in my trait pile right now, so yep. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that my one. Turn. So now it's your turn, yep. I'm going to play this and get one more gene to my pool. Wow. And then get another trait. Yep. Well, are you sure? How many cards do you have in your hand? Uh, you got to, oh, because you get, yeah, because you added one again, didn't you? So you're back up to six. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so you draw six. one more. All right, you all set? Ready for the next H? Oh, actually, you're the first player now, so go ahead and you draw, because um, we had a catastrophe. So whenever there's a catastrophe, the player changes. Oh, I got another catastrophe. Well, no, this one isn't catastrophe. This is just an H card. This says reforestation. Traits in your trait pile cannot be swapped, stolen, or discarded. So nobody can steal or, or switch um, traits with each other now. So you get to go ahead and go first. Just remember that that card's out, so you can't steal any traits from me or make me discard any traits. Well, until it's covered up. Until it's covered up, yep. Hmm. Let me read this new one that I just got. Where is it? I don't know. Found it. somewhere. <laughs> Here you go, playing this. Symbiosis, it's a dominant trait, which means it can't be stolen. It's three points and it says plus two for every trait in your lowest color count. Must have two or more colors, okay. So there you go. Well, I've got four green. Yep. So I get four points? Well, no, no, not right now. Um, that's at the end of the game. When but you I score. get three points, so. It will be four, three points at least at the end of the game, yep. 
All right, so now it's my uh, turn. Can I trade this card? I do not want it. Oh, you got it. Uh, I'm going to play next turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play Morality. So this is a great card worth five points. But as it says here, you may only play this if you give one positive value one positive value trait to an opponent. So I get to go ahead and give Jonah a positive value trait here. So I'll give you fear, which is worth one point. Um, oh, thanks for the extra point. Yep, and that's going to be it for me. I just need to stabilize back up to six cards. One, two, all right. Uh, and I'm going to well, play nope, this. Well, not yet. We got to do a new age. So it's the end of the round, so we do a new age. We got to remember those. Tropical lands. Oh. Players cannot play colorless traits. Ooh, so no gray cards this turn. They have to be a color. Oh, that's cool. Now we can uh, swap cards still. Yes, Again. we can swap cards. So this is what the, the age cards look like here. The normal ones, not catastrophe. So the, the art in this game is fantastic. All right, so Jonah's playing a green card called Swarm. So Swarm's an interesting one. It doesn't have a value at the bottom there. But as you can see in the middle, it says value is equal to the number of swarm traits in play, including we this did, one. That has two... Oh, it doesn't have two different colors. No, it's only green, so that's okay. It's a green card. I don't know. All right. Um, How many points do I have? Go ahead and stabilize. St stable. Yeah, draw back up if you have if you don't have six cards. Okay. Since Jonah played a swarm, I'm going to play a swarm this turn, too. So now our swarms are worth two each because there's two swarm cards in play. <laughs> I got a, right. I got the best card ever. All right, go ahead and draw another age. We're all done. We stabilized. Age of Dracula. Discard one random card from your hand. If vampirism is in your trait pile, steal one random card from an opponent hand. Oh, nobody has vampirism out though, so we got to randomly discard a card. So no looking. It's got to be at random. No, no, no looking. I'm mixing it. You're not mixing anything up. All right, so I lost costly uh, signaling. I'll, all right, I'll choose from your hand. Yeah, yeah, that's the card you wanted to discard. Get out of here. I don't Shuffle want them it. up. Shuffle them up. Shuffle them up. You cheater. Get out of here. <laughs> Give me your hand of cards. Give me your hand of cards. Here, uh -huh. we'll do it like this. I don't want to lose my nosy. I get to try. I get to steal one of your cards. There. <laughs> oh, it was still kidney. Oh my gosh. All right, go ahead and take your turn. There you go. Nosy, what's that do? <laughs> Look at three cards from an opponent's hand, steal one, and play it immediately. <laughs> wow. So you get to look at three cards from my hand, so let me find three for you. There you go. You can look at those three. Ooh. You don't get to keep them here, so Von don't mix them Venomous? with your cards. Yep. Wait, you could have used that for that. No, I don't. I didn't have it out yet. Oh, I can't. Wait, wait. Jane pool? No, no, no. no. Play another dream. So you get to play one of these immediately. Play great. Mitochondria. Yep. So it increases your gene pool by one. So now I get to ha get two more because I. Right oh, now, yeah, oh no, I have four, so I get three more. Yeah, yeah. One, ah, stone, s stone skin. Two, oh wow. Oh, I hate this one. Oh, dragon heart. Oh man, you should have took this one. What? Painted shell? Why? I've got stone, I've got that. I've literally got two oranges and one's stone skin worth nothing if you have fire skin okay i'm gonna go ahead I'm, it's my turn right i want to play venomous so venomous is a mean card here so it's minus two points but the action on it is really good the action says uh play another trait and then move venomous to an, an opponent's trait pile so go ahead that'll go ahead and go to jonah's trait pile there and give him negative two points and i yeah. get to play another one so i'm going to play painted shell which is a blue trait and this says you may replay an action from a trait in your trait pile. So my blue one will go there. And then I want to replay the action on photosynthesis, which says draw two cards. If either are green, play one immediately. Blue. Purple. No. Nope. <laughs> and then I got to stabilize. Da, da, Back up to da, six. Da, da, I guess what I got. Okay. Is it my turn? Nope. We got to do an age first. Then ah. it'll be your turn. Please don't be. Oh, nature. 
<clears throat> Nature Natural harmony. harmony. Pre preview the next age before you take your turn. Wow. So you get to look at the next page. one. Yep. Before you take your turn. Internal. Don't, don't read it. Don't read it. Just look at it and just know what. It, I guess it doesn't matter. We all get to do it. So yeah, let's preview it here. Oh, now you won't show. Oh, me. it says inter. Oh, since I got this, I get one extra card. Next turn. No, that's. It says after you stabilize, draw one extra card. That's next turn. Not right now. Not right now. We just are previewing it. So that that's gonna be the next <laughs> age. Okay. Hey, I'm using this on you since you got. Got your two. I got lost two points. Okay. You're gonna lose one point. Well, what's this say? Play this into an opponent's trait pile at any time. You may use this on someone else's turn. Okay, so you still get an action. That's just you're just giving me that right now. So that way you lose one point. So you still get to play a card. That doesn't count. Man. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? I get four points back. Yeah! 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, careful. Because this one, if I have four of the same colors, which I have four greens, I get three. I get four points. In your trait pile. You don't yet, but that's good. Now you know what you need to do. You need to get greens or blues, or purples, I mean, so you can get four of them, huh? Uh, I, can, can I, oh, I can't put two greens out. Not yet, no. We have more turns, though, so just remember what you got to do to get those extra points. All right, so are you all done? Stabilize back up to seven. Oh, I get an extra one since it's my turn. Remember? No, not, that's not until next age. We were just previewing it. We were just looking at it to see what the next age will be. So stabilize back up to seven. I got one, two, three, four, five. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, which means I get to look at three of your cards, steal one, and immediately play it. So you can't use my nosy. Yeah, play an action from an opponent's trait pile. That's an action in your Fine. trait pile. Give me three cards here at random. All right. <laughs> oh, your green ones, huh? All right. You can have my greens. I've already got one that will get me four points. <laughs> Alright, I'm okay. going to take Hive Mind because it says it's plus two green if you have, if green is your highest color in your trait pile, so. Which it is. It is right now, yep, so hopefully it stays that way. One, two, three, four, five, so draw one more card to stabilize. Alright, now also, reveal. I, I also, I get another card to stabilize. You, you don't, no, nope. you only stabilize at the end of your turn, so. Go ahead and reveal the next age, we all know what this one is already. Can I get one extra card? Not yet, not till, ah! not till after so you I get, stabilize. I, I get three cards after this, my round. Maybe, yeah, go ahead and play. Play your trait. <sighs> Smart's always play a card, stabilize, next person's turn. What will you do? Play it, let's see. <laughs> Alright. Persuasive. Choose a card or color. All players. Uh, discard all cards of that color from their hand. Okay. So what color are you choosing? I have to discard them from... We all have to do it. From your hand, too. Uh, blue. Blue? Oh, man. <laughs> so I have to discard three cards. You don't have any blue? <laughs> nope. Oh. I have three greens, okay. a purple, and a stone. Now you get to stabilize one, back up to seven and then draw one extra two, card. Two. Three. What? You have eight cards? Wait, wait, since I have four of those, I get four more points. At the end of the game, as long as you keep at least four purple. Uh, what happens if I get five? Plus two, if blue is your highest. Ugh, oh, that's not good. Alright, I'm gonna play bullheaded. It says this is both a red and green trait. That's all it is. So it's it's multicolor there. So as you can see, it's split on the side. It's red and green. And then I get to draw back up. Oh, Dad! Six, seven actually. Two. Yeah, I've got I've got two of the lowest. So six. I get extra two points at the end seven. of the game because of that. Maybe. Because I've got two lowest, Dad. I've got this one that's lowest, that one's that's lowest. Oh, no, no, that's that. not how it works. You get plus two points for every card in the color of lowest. So right now, red is your lowest color that you have in your trait pile, so you would get plus two points because you have one red card. Uh, 
So if you play a second red card, though, you'd, it'd be tied with green, and you could choose red or green and get four uh, points instead. So go ahead and reveal the next age. It's oh, a catastrophe, isn't it? Super volcano! Oh, no. One, oh, minus one gene pool! Oh, no, no! You're a five! I'm at a six, at least. This card, one card from your hand for every blue trait in your trait pile. Oh, come on. <laughs> and the bottom part doesn't take effect because World it's not the end of the game. And 1% for every blue trait in here. Yeah, that's if it was the last card. It's not. So there we go. I, I discarded my one card at random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and uh, next turn I'll go first. Because um, we... Uh, had another catastrophe. Ooh, so. I'm playing this. To play, you must have three or more green trees. I guess. Can't play this card, Dad. Do you know why? Why? Because I gotta have three or more green trees. And, play it? and yeah, I don't wanna get seven points. Wow, so play another green trait so you can play it next turn. That's great. <laughs> I'm thinking about playing a purple wine. No, 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 no. Tiny. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Oh, Why? Yeah, that's a good one, I think, isn't it? It's steel one green, and For you me. have you have garbage green. No, I don't. So you Draw just, two cards. F. You just steal it, so you don't get to do green. that. It just goes in your pile. It just goes you right should, here? You should steal this one instead. It's worth more points. Okay. The swarm is. Cause, Wait, what? How? Because you have a swarm already, so each swarm is worth two points instead of only one. So. Ow. There you go. So now you have four greens. Yeah. Now well, I can play this. All right. right Stabilize. Now. You have six? You got to check. Yeah, I think I do one. Yeah, because I had seven. And All then right. Now so I want to play one, saliva. Two, which gives me plus one to my gene pool. One, two, three, four, five. I oh, I gotta get rid of one, Dad, because I have too many. Do you? You have more than six? Yeah, I, I have seven still. At the world's end, if you don't like the final catastrophe, discard it and draw a new one for every to the end of the game. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Never mind, never mind. I don't want to discard this one. Okay. This one's useful. Look. At World's End, if you don't like the contest, final catastrophe, discard it and draw a new one for every... Wow, that's good. So I'll get the catastrophes out just in case, huh? You use that. Uh, I don't know about Palatin. The Palatin seems pretty useless. It says one point for every card in your trait pile with a face value of one. That means every one of them that has a one on it. So this one, this one, this one, it gets plus one point for. That's really good too. In this one. Yep. yep. Okay, so uh, I think I think I will uh, keep that one. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna get rid of this one that I just got. It's like a weird purple, and it says fine motor skin, and it only gives you two points. That's it. Okay. Fine motor skills. Yep. All right. Go ahead and discard that one. Here we go. Age of Reason. Draw three cards. Keep one. Discard the other two. So let me see here. squeaking up there mom i mean dad i know all right you get to keep one of the cards so now go ahead you get to draw three and you get to keep boom, one of these boom, 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 boom. well i think i'll just keep them keep your hands separate i know hey, hey. draw one or keep one of those out of the three and then discard uh, the other kindy. two yep. kidney yep nope <laughs> nope viral viral at the world end, choose a color opponent's receive minus one for each trait of that color. Oh my gosh. In their trait pile. Oh my gosh. So you'd lose one point. Well, you, you, one you, point. Choose a, you choose a color and I lose one point for every color or every one of those I have. Wait, Value is equal to, ah. Okay. What is that? I had to discard that. <clears throat> he, he was turning an orange yep. into a green. Yep. All right, go ahead and put that in your hand. All right, my turn. I want to no, play. No, 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 it's my turn. No, I go first now because we had a catastrophe. 
Mm. I'll play Delicious. To play, you must have at least one colorless trait in your trait pile. I have two, um, and that's worth four points. That's a good one there. So that's it for me. Four, five, six. You're going to play Heroic, which is another dominant trait. To play, you must have three or more green traits, which you do, and um, it's worth seven points. That's big, and it can't be removed because it's dominant trait. <laughs> Do you need mm. stabilize or are you good? Do you have six cards? Uh, no, I have more. I mean, I, I mean, I don't have one, two, three. I. Mm. Okay. All right. Wait, next, what's the next wait. age card? High tides. If you play a trait with no effect, you may play another trait with no effect. Wow. What? So if you play a trait that doesn't have an effect at the bottom, you can play a second one this turn. Oh. Well, you don't have any that, traits. As long as it doesn't have an effect. Well, you don't have any. I, I don't know. Uh, no. Let's see here. All right, I guess I'll just play this one. Actually, hold on. I guess I'll play Nocturnal. It's worth two points. And if it is the only purple card in my trait pile, then it'll be worth three points. But right now it's not. Three, four, five. I get to stabilize by drawing one more. Okay, your turn. One more to my gene pool. Oh my gosh. So that means I get two now. Yep. Oh, uh, what? What? This is useless. <laughs> oh, it's two points. Well, it's not useless. Oh, now I get to freeze you because right. it says red and tin tissue. Regenerative. Anytime you discard a trait from your trait pile, including this one, play one trait from the top of the deck. Ooh, that could be dangerous. Oh, and it has a little A. All right, the atmosphere is thickening. Instead of taking your turn, play one trait from the top of the deck and ignore its actions. So we don't get to do our turns, we just do this here. Okay, so now you draw one and play it and we don't do the action. So it's just adding it to huh? your trait pool. Nope, just go to put it down. That's it. So you got, oh, that's good. One point. All right. I got, I got too many greens. All right. So I, that's I, it for that age. Next. Or no, no, we don't need to restabilize. So. Catastrophe. The last one of the game. Here we go. AI takeover. Minus one to our gene pool. Wait, what's AI? Discard all but one card from your hand. What? Why? No, this is a really bad one for me. Me too. Oh, wait. Mom. I don't know why it matters. I don't care about viral. Just discard all but one. And then reduce your gene pool by one as well. Down to six. That's a really cool card. Again, I love the art on these. So. Uh -huh. Why do we have to get rid of everything? Because it's the end of the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, and I get to restock nope, back nope, up. To no seven. restock, and this is the end of the game. World's <laughs> end. The game ends here. Colorless traits are now worth two. Ignore all colorless trait effects. Well, I got I got two for this because it's well, no, colorless. Well, that's in your hand, so these are colorless, see? Oh, I guess so, so I get a lot of points. That's good for I you because these, these are worth two points each now. And mine are, see, mine are worth a lot more than that, but now they're all worth just two points each. <laughs> Why? Because that's what that card does. So now we have to add up our points. So let's see here. You want to start with you? Yes, I got seven. I don't see any negative eight. points anywhere. So. Well, I got another swarm, so that's two. So that would be ten. Nope. That's oh. ten. Twelve. Because there were two points each. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Hold on. 15. Hold on. Hold on. Fifteen. Plus four if you have four colors in your trait. Do you have all four colors in your trait pile? Nope, yep. so you don't. Yeah, I do. 15, no, all four colors, doesn't it say? Oh, yeah. You don't count that guy. He was in your hand. Oh, yeah. So that's uh, 7, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 23. Wait, no. Wait, this was how many? So 7, 8, 12, these 13, two, 14, 15. These two are worth two. Yup. 
No, this... no, there were two each. All the grazer were two each. Because of this card. It changed them all to two. So there is, oh my gosh, 12, 15, plus three is 18, two, four, six more, 18 plus six. 24. Yep. And then plus two for every trait in your lowest color count. So red is your lowest color count, so you get two more points. So 24 plus two. 26. Yep. There That's you go. That's a lot. It is. Oh, wait. You got all these purple cards, too, we missed. Oh, yeah. 27, 28, 29, minus two. So 26. 27. 27. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Here we go. One, two. So just one more. Three, four. Five, six, seven, minus one is six. Um, nine. Nine. Ten. Two, four, six more. So that's 15. And two more because green is the highest color count. So what was I at? 15, 17. Oh, oh I beat my gosh, you destroyed me. I beat you. By nine. Yeah. I lost, nine. I lost like seven points because of that card. I had a lot of high cards. And color. also, I made you discard a lot of your blues. You did, yeah. yeah. Well, no, that was for my hand, not for my trait pile. But. Yeah, I know, but you could have put it out and still got more. So that is Doom Leans. Um, yeah, you enjoy it? Doom. Doom. Yeah. I like yeah, it. It I was interesting. It. Yeah, it was fun. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of different cards that we didn't even get to see here, um, including other dorm dominant traits and stuff like that. So, I mean, there's tons of other things that could have happened in this game that we just didn't happen to run into yet. So, lots of replayability here. Um, and, and I think this would be great to play with, like, six people as well. So. Yeah. But I think that's going to wrap up our playthrough. Um, until next time, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. That's right. And uh, until next time, though, my name is Joe. My name is Jonah. And you've been watching On the Vent. Bye! Bye.